Hi guys, this video I'm going to show you how to solve equation that has a parentheses not only one side, maybe in both sides, or it can be one side. And then how do we isolate variable by itself? So we call it sometimes multi-step equation also. So let's actually understand this here. So first thing we look into see there is a four steps, actually basic four steps to solve equation. So if there is any parentheses, you get rid of the parentheses by using the distributive property, by using the distributive property, by using the distributive property. Then once your parenthesis is done, look to see if you can combine anything in both sides. So you can combine anything by both sides. Then we isolate variable by itself. In other words, we get the variable, all the variable on one side and all the number on another side. And then last process is basically division. You know, instead of saying it, let me see if I can show you right here. Okay, right here. Right here. Okay, so basically this is what I mean. Okay, so as you see, if you have a parenthesis, remove it by using distributive property. Simplify each side of the equation by combining like term if possible. Get all the variable terms on one side and all the number terms on the other side by using the addition property. Okay, of inequality. And also, this is the four, number four, which is last step is always division if there is any coefficient with the variable present, okay? And of course, those that is an opposite operation, as you see to the right side, we have been using this actually, all right? So now we have an example down there, right? So let's take a look here. We can use this example. So we see clearly the first step works here. So look at that first step said, if there is a parenthesis, remove it by using the opposite operation. So I'm going to distribute. I'm going to distribute. That's all down here. Also, I'm going to distribute. I'm going to distribute there. So it will give me, it will allow to allow me to write 8x plus 32 minus 6. Remember, you don't distribute any further because parentheses end up there, okay? So you bring down negative 6 equal to 15 minus now 4 times 5. So you distribute it. So it is negative 20x and again we distribute negative 4 times negative 2 is going to give you positive 8 positive 8 remember this is where many of us get off so instead of positive you guys write negative and which is not correct we cannot write that negative okay so i want to make sure that negative 4 times negative 2 it should give you positive 8 that's a side note okay all right next thing we do we're going to combine like term and we know by now actually we can combine only one side of the equal sign so these two are similar and also these two are similar so we are going to have 8x plus 32 take away 6 is 26 equal to 15 plus 8 is 23 minus 20x bring it down Okay, then we cannot combine any further. Then we have to get the variable in one side and number in another side by using the opposite operation, which is basically number three, as you see down there on the bullet. Okay, so usually, usually, you know, it can do any way, but usually I try to cancel out the smaller variable. I try to cancel out the smaller variable. So clearly, my smaller variable is this one, as you see. This is my smaller variable. Because 8x is bigger than negative 20x. So what is the advantage of cancelling out smaller variable? You won't see negative sign pop up, okay? And I mean, at the end, well, on the left side. So we're going to add 20x in both sides. Add 20x in both sides. Add 20x in both sides. So if we do so, this get cancelled. And 
20 plus 8 that will give us 28x plus 26 bring it down equal to 23 so we are making things narrowing down we are narrowing down things then we do minus 26 minus 26 by now if you know why we are doing minus 26 so that cancelled out okay. Okay, so then we bring down 28x equal to, down here is negative 3. Remember, adding with different sign. Finally, the last step, I want to show you that I mentioned up here. Last step is always division. If there is any coefficient, if there is any coefficient present, clearly you see the coefficient we have is 28 down here, okay? So we are going to actually divide by 28 in both side 28 in both side so that will cancel out so x equal to negative 3 over 28 and i don't want it converting to an you know a, a decimal this is a proper fraction so i would love to have this as my answer unless you question ask you to convert in some form of you know um, decimal or something otherwise you leave it like this this is safer okay Thank you. I hope you understand.